Hey, Ryan Sousen here with Accelerate Marketing. And today I'm going to talk to you about the most important thing with local service ad, response rate. What is response rate? How do you measure it? All that sort of stuff. So today I'm going to share with you a case study that definitively proves that the response rate is important and with a little bit of a twist. The twist is that the response rate that you get from the Google MCC account or the master client account, which is the account that you put all of your LSA pages into if you've got multiple locations. So some of you might not have multiple locations. Therefore, you don't have an MCC account and you don't even have a response rate. I'm here to tell you that response rate is not as good as another number. And that's the reason why I'm creating this video today. You can always go so far as to say that response rate doesn't really even matter when you look at this data. It does matter, just not as much as we thought previously. So what you wanna do is look at your response rate, identify what it is, and get it to be as high as possible. You want that response rate, like I've said in many other videos, to be greater than 90%. Once you've got that handled, the next best step is to get the calls to be answered within 30 seconds. If you do that, then you are gonna have an excellent chance at having a much higher lead volume than your competitors. And that's what our software and our services that we do, we all support keeping the call answering within 30 seconds, keeping the response rate that you get from the MCC account to be as high as possible. We can help you identify what your response rate is. If you don't have an MCC account, we can pull your LSA page into ours, like I've said in other videos, and help you figure out the most important variable that determines how many leads that you're gonna get. That's the number one question that I get from people when they call me. They say, Ryan, why is my lead volume so bad? I tell everybody that if you don't know your three R's, reviews, radius, response rate, then you're really running in the dark. And that's what our software does. It tells you what those three variables are and it shows you how to fix them. Let us know if you have any questions about that. Now, I'm gonna go to a little video here to show you what the variable, which is calls answered after 30 seconds, is a much better predictor of lead volume than response rate. And this is actually with a moving company that we worked with. We worked with them for about two or three months before we saw a significant change in the calls answered under 30 seconds. We wanna get those calls answered to be as fast as possible. You don't wanna use a call center because what they say is, is yeah, we're gonna answer all the calls within you know, 99% of the calls or 100% of the calls. They do, but what they don't tell you is, is that it immediately those calls go to on hold music. That is the worst possible thing that you can do with your Google local service ads account. So. I hope you guys are starting to understand. These are all strategies that can give you that little bump over your competition. Okay, so here's this case study. And you know this is the overall case study. You can see that the key is, is response time. It can make or break you. Here's what you wanna look at. We're looking at calls in blue. We're looking at calls over 30 seconds in red and then response rate in yellow. We're looking at a uh, number of calls and then percentage of like, response rate percentage. So you want the response rate to be as high as possible. You know, I mean, you want it to be 100%. What we're finding is, is that even if your response rate is high, we're finding that it doesn't track as well with the blue lead volume here, okay? That's the key. We wanna see what tracks with the lead volume over time. And look at what does track with it over time. Look at what's going on here. Calls over 30 seconds. There's no calls over 30 seconds on January 6th, 5th, six, seven, these are by day, okay? So you can see when there's no calls that are missed, you know, the, then the lead volume goes up, okay? January 7th, a few calls are answered over 30 seconds. Boom, immediate drop in lead volume, okay? January 8th, it went down though, but there's still like one missed call, but you know, Google said, okay, you're doing better. And then here's what happened, look at this. The calls answered over 30 seconds went through the roof and look at what happened, it tanked. The total lead volume went down. All the while, you've got this response time that's kind of, that's just going up and hovering over here. But look at what's happening. Look at what's more tightly correlated to the actual number of leads. And again, another day where there's a bunch of calls answered over 30 seconds here on June 10th, and then boom, another decrease in lead volume. Two consecutive days, then basically you just go to almost zero leads. That's what I want you to see here two consecutive days plummets the lead volume 
And you can see that once the calls over 30 seconds is managed again, then the lead volume goes up. I mean, you can see the response rate went way down here, but it didn't respond the way that the lead volume responded to calls over 30 seconds did. So it's, again, the, the calls over 30 seconds are a much better predictor of overall lead volume than just the response rate percentage that you can get from the MCC account, uh, which if you don't have, again, we can help you get this, you know, the response rate. But again, it's not as predictive as the calls answered over 30 seconds, all right? Let me know if you have any questions. And in this case study, once this mover who came to us and said, you know, we're getting a, a bunch of leads, but our lead volume is going down over time. Can you help us? We did an audit of their LSA page. We look at probably 30 different variables. Once we did that audit, we knew right away that we'd be able to help. We want to work with people and businesses that we know that we can help and give them a significant value by increasing their lead volume over time. That's it. If we can't do it, we're not going to take you. I, we probably turned out about 30 to 40% of the people that I talked to. There are certain businesses that they've already messed up their account enough that we might not be able to help them. And we're totally okay with telling people that. So getting back to the case study, after we did the audit, we met with the client, we took them on board, we implemented these strategies. They didn't get implemented right away. We helped them with their intake team. We listened to the calls and we did a, a lot of other things, you know, to optimize the account. And lo and behold, the lead volume went up. It actually doubled and tripled within the coming months. So this is what can happen when you're continuing to get lead volume, even if it's declining. And the key is to maintain at least a lead volume enough so that you can prove to Google that you're going to actually do what they want you to do. Okay. So I hope this makes sense. The key is looking at calls answered within 30 seconds. That's what's going to be predictive of lead volume over time. Let me know if you got any questions. I look forward to talking to you. And all you got to do is just text LSA to 619-304-5155. Again, 619-304-5155. You can text me and I will respond immediately. And I look forward to talking to you. Let me know if you've got any questions. Thanks. Bye.